that requires a bit of thought, actually. PDF yeah. file. Yeah. Look at the sperm cross the road. And see, I had this for Randy. Damn it. Why did the sperm cross the road, boys and girls? Uh, mm. Because Randy put on the wrong sock this morning. No. Oh, oh, oh. no. It's Randy when I needed him. Oh, well. oh my God. Uh, so Randy's sitting at the doctor's office, and the doctor comes in and says, That's <coughs> bad news. You're going to have to stop masturbating. Randy's ah. like, I don't understand, Doc. Why? And the doctor says, Because I'm trying to examine you now. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where's Randy when I need him? I mean, seriously. I gotta find him and tell him these later. All right. So this old woman walked into a dentist's office, took off all her clothes and spread her legs. And the dentist is like, I think you got the wrong room. And she goes, you put in my husband's teeth last week and now you gotta remove them. <laughs> <laughs> you know how a woman can scare a gynecologist? Mm. I become a ventriloquist. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Can you? Yeah, and if you can flap it, that would help too. Uh, mm. What do you call someone who refuses to fart in public? Mm. It's a private tutor. No. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I love that. I do too. I thought it was really cute. So uh, this family, they're driving behind this garbage truck, and a dildo flew out and thumped against the windshield and embarrassed and to spare her young son's innocence. The oh. mother turned around and said, don't worry, dear, that was just an insect. And her little boy goes, wow, I'm shocked it could get off the ground with a big cock like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Randy goes to a $10 sex worker and he contracts crabs. When he goes back to complain, the sex worker laughs and says, What do you expect for $10, lobster? No. <laughs> What's the difference between your boyfriend and a condom? Hmm. Condoms have evolved. They're not so thick and insensitive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... Randy and this woman started having sex in the middle of a dark forest. After about 15 minutes, Randy got up and goes, Damn, I wish I had a flashlight. And the woman says, Me too, you've been eating grass for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, you've missed all these jokes I did for you, you bastard. I'll tell you back at my house. Hmm. What do you do when you come across an elephant in the jungle? Hmm. Wipe it off and say how sorry you are. No! Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. All right, this one's for you, <coughs> cat boy, because you love cats. Why do mice have such small balls? Mm. So few of them know how to dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So cute little mice dancing in your lip. Oh, it's adorable. All right, what's the best thing about fingering a gypsy when she's on her period? Mm. You get your palm red for free. <laughs> Not. Yeah, three oh, tampons God. are sitting at a bus stop. What do they say to each other? They say nothing. They're stuck up cunts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what old pussy tastes like? Mm. Uh, depends. <laughs> if women drink a glass of wine it increases the chance of a stroke if she drinks a whole bottle she might even give it a little suck mm. oh. <laughs> this one's really bad this is my worst one of the night why don't pedophiles compete in races uh, mm. they always come in a little behind mm. oh, oh that was bad all right, so <laughs> oh, that was really bad. Two deer walk out of a gay bar, and one says to the other, "Man, I can't believe I blew forty bucks in there." <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> this man's sitting at the bar with his head in his hands. The bartender's like, "What's the matter, buddy?" The man says, "It's the worst thing ever. I caught my wife in bed with my best friend." God, that sucks. The bartender says, "What'd you do?" Man says, I told her to pack her shit and get the hell out. Bartender says, what about your best friend? Man says, I looked him straight in the eyes and I said, bad, bad dog. 
<laughs> Sorry, that was pretty bad too. <laughs> what does Trisha put behind her ears to attract men? Her ankles. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did one lesbian vampire say to the other lesbian vampire? <laughs> Same time next month. <laughs> Whoa. Right, I don't know if any of you know what anti jokes are, but they're really, Whoa. really bad I know jokes. What they are. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna. I have some anti jokes. <coughs> <laughs> it's a scientific fact that if you took all the veins from your body and laid them end to end, you'd die. <laughs> <laughs> you would die. Friends are like bananas. If you peel their skin and eat them, they die. No. Oh. <laughs> I got 99 problems, and one of them is that I count my problems instead of solving them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they say uh, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, if life gives you melons, you're dyslexic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and if, here's a fun fact. If humans stood in a single file line around the equator... Most of them would drown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet is? Mm. What? What? Oh, come on. A pirate's right. favorite letter of the alphabet? R. No, none. None. Mm. Historians have suggested most pirates would have been illiterate. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. These are anti-jokes, boys and girls. <laughs> Why can't Tommy the T-Rex clap? Hmm. Too short, small alarms. No, because dinosaurs have been extinct for 65 million years. Hello? Oh, Wake up. <laughs> yeah, Mary had a little lamb. The doctor fainted. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Randy, which sexual position produces the ugliest children? Ask your mother. <laughs> <laughs> this horse walks into a bar. The bartender says, why the long face? The horse, <laughs> unable to speak, shits on the floor and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, these are, rest are punny jokes because I did enough dirt and I did enough anti-jokes. So King Ozymandias of Assyria was running low on cash after years of war with the Hittites. His last great possession was the star of the Euphrates, the most valuable diamond in the ancient world. Desperate, he went to Croesus, the pawn poker, and asked for a loan. Croesus said, I'll give you a hundred thousand dinars for it. But I paid a million dinars for it, the king protested. Don't you know who I am? I'm the king. And Croesus said, When you wish to pawn a star, no. it makes no difference who you are. No. <laughs> <laughs> adorable. Evidence is found that William Tell and his family were avid bowlers. Unfortunately, though, all the Swiss League records were destroyed in a fire, so we'll never know for whom the Tells bowled. Mm. <laughs> Tells bowled. Oh. <laughs> a man rushed into a busy doctor's office and shouted, Doctor, I think I'm shrinking. And the doctor calmly responded, now settle down. You'll just have to be a little patient. <laughs> a little patient. Uh... So this marine biologist developed a race of genetically engineered dolphins that could live forever if they were fed a steady diet of seagulls. One day, his supply of the birds ran out, so he had to go out and trap some more. On the way back, he spied two lions asleep on the road. Afraid to wake them, he gingerly stepped over them. Immediately, he was arrested and charged with transporting gulls across the date lions for immortal purposes. Mm. <laughs> Back in the late 1800s, the Tate's Watch Company of Massachusetts wanted to produce other products. And since they already made the cases for watches, they used them to produce compasses. The new compasses were so bad, though, that often ended up in Canada or Mexico rather than in California. This, of course, is the origin of the expression, he who has a tate is lost. Mm. Uh, lost. As a tate is lost. Hesitates. Yeah, okay. Hesitates is lost? Okay. I got uh, it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Chief pokes into the local cop station, steals all the toilets, all the urinals, leaving no clues, and a spokesperson was quoted as saying, we have absolutely nothing to go on. <laughs> 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 An Indian chief's feeling very, 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 very sick, so he summons the medicine man. After a brief examination, the medicine man took out a long, thin strip of elk rawhide and gave it to the chief and told him, bite off and chew and swallow one inch of this leather every day. Well, after a month, the medicine man returned to see how the chief was feeling. The chief, he shrugged and he said, the song is ended, but the malady lingers on. Oh. <laughs> and my last one for the night. A famous Viking explorer returned home from a voyage and found his name was missing from the town register. His wife insisted on complaining to the local civic official who apologized profusely, saying... I must have taken leaf off my senses. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wait, I have two more. I have two more. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Another page. There were three Indian squaws. One slept on a deer skin, one slept on an elk skin, and the third slept on a hippopotamus skin. All three of them got... First two each had a baby boy. The one who slept on the hippopotamus skin had twin boys. This just goes to prove that the squaw of the hippopotamus is equal to the sons of the squaws of the other two hides. <laughs> and I always told a friend of mine this kind of saying here, a skeptical anthropologist was cataloging South American folk remedies with the assistance of the tribal Pujo. Mm. And he had indicated that the leaves of a particular fern were a sure cure for any case of constipation. Well, when the anthropologist expressed his doubts, the Pujo looked at him in the eye and said, Let me tell you, with fronds like these, you don't need animals. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>